Well, welcome back to Mississippi Delta. I'm Stephen Robinson. Well, Friday will mark the final week of the regular season for a host of high school football teams around the Delta with our game of the week pitting O'Bannon at LaFleur County with the winner claiming wait, the district wait, 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 wait. Where'd you come The actual from? game of the week is JFK at Broad Street with the winner moving on to the playoffs, the loser calling it a season. You know what? You make a good point. So why don't we make them co-games of the week? You know what? He's actually smarter than he looks. All right, wise guy. Enough with us. Let's hear from the teams. Uh, my mind say this too. Well, have you ever gone to an event and noticed someone had on the same outfit as you, then give you that odd stare? I'm sure you've done that a few times, Candace. Well, that was the case at the start of the Delta Valley Conference High School Basketball Tournament. Ray Brooks and Leland showing up with the same colored white home uniform. So the Tigers had to go to a backup plan, pulling out the yellow practice jerseys of the host team Shaw. And just maybe the improv look had something to do with the way they started, scoring the game's first 11 points as Cedric Campbell knocks down the three. But then again, maybe those yellow jerseys didn't help after all. As the Cubs storm back and win it, Jadarius Felston slices to the rack. The final would be 68 to 65. And welcome back, everyone. I'm Stephen Robinson. Well, how odd is this? The 13th week of the high school football season falling on Friday the 13th. Hmm. <laughs> However, no superstitions here. Instead, just a super night. For the playoffs among those hoping to punch its ticket to next week. well even though southern miss football isn't home for the holiday there are no complaints from their camp santa delivering a nice skip wrap present to the golden eagles in the form of their first bowl game appearance since 2011. usm rubbing shoulders with washington for this photo op before the two face off tomorrow in the heart of dallas bowl and hey, welcome back everyone i'm stephen robinson well you might have to excuse Eastside head football coach kendrick woodard if he might need a manicure these days with his team's first two playoff games having been nail biters in the trojans opener a couple of weeks ago a goal line stand ended the game in a 40 to 38 double overtime win where we were scheduled to be in studio talking about high school basketball today however because of the white stuff behind me all the games in the area have been postponed so they'll try to play them again tomorrow nevertheless despite the weather putting a hold on high school basketball the college games still go on as planned. In particular, the Ole Miss Rebels set the play host to the Georgia Bulldogs tonight. And the Bulldogs have highlights of this one coming up for you tonight at 10. Well, that's going to do it live from here at WXVT as we got uh, Steve Schill, Eric Zernick behind me. These guys got too that's much Eric. time on their hands, as you can see. But nevertheless, I'll try to stay dry as much as I can. But one week after Indianola Academy played for the Triple A football title, several members of that North Championship Colonel team quickly slide off the cleats and into the sneaks for a new season of round ball. IA at home taking on North Delta with the blue and white on the attack from the get-go. D. Winfield running the point, finds a big fella Brandon Kimball for the thump. You know what? That brings a big smile to the faces of the Kimball family. Then later, check out the DSU commit, come up with the steal, the spin, Ahead to Caleb Wilson, showtime, off glass to Special K. However, unlike last year's game played at Noxaby County, Friday's game will be played here at Bulldog Stadium, where the home squad has the mentality of, we must protect this house. And I want to break away from tradition. I don't want to talk about football to start it off. Why is this important that your team dresses to impress? Well, Steve, um... We we don't uh, we just don't have on you no know, uh, white shirts and blue ties. We got custom ties on, by the way, you know, with the uh, symbols emblem. And, you know, we just want to no stress to the guys. That and you have to forgive me, Coach. I didn't get the memo. So. <laughs> and like Dorothy, the Indianola Academy Colonels can also say there's no place like home. And being they've won an impressive 24 straight games here at Legion Field. And today's state championship win for the Hawks, not just about the team, but also about the fans, as a sea of green and gold made the trip here to the big house. See that ring? No, 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 you keep it on. Let me oh, you can just wow. put it up. You can put it up. Wow, that, that is a ring, folks. That is a state championship ring from 2011, in which Rosedale won, and Chris was a part of that team. I learned a lot from that team. But you're just a game out of the fourth playoff spot 
going into tonight's game. Is that something that's still in the back of the team's mind, that despite us not having a win, we still have a shot at making the playoffs with three left? Definitely. I've been um, uh, expressing that. When I came out here a little earlier, saw you cutting the grass, a guy that wears many hats, doesn't have on one right now, but he is a guy that wears many hats, and taking pride in the way this field looks means a lot to you. On this particular Sunday, the Hornets are attending Vessels of Mercy, pastored by Tommy Benson, who commends Coach Dorsey and his staff for putting faith into basketball. And it is on that premise that Coach Dorsey is building a team. And not only the Devilettes a united team, but United Nations as well. With the several flags you see behind me representing the different countries many of the players hail from. Three from Ghana, um, two from UK, one from Trinidad and Tobago, Canada. Well, today's statesman's practice held indoors because of the temperatures down in the 30s. However, come this weekend, well, the team won't have to worry about this here because they'll open their season down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where the conditions are expected to be in the low 80s and sunny. Rebels had a great career there. Then you go in the NFL and you put together an outstanding career eight years in the league but i just found out before we got out here michael has decided to retire yes sir tell me a little about that decision why now um well my decision i never wanted anybody to have control of my career hi we're the rural central high school cheerleaders and you're watching friday night <laughs> with mike gilbert and that other guy <laughs> I think she said other guy. Mm. It happens. Mm. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, uh, I'm going to do the show by myself now. They are both high school girls head basketball coaches. Jason Thompson in his 15th year at H.W. Byers. Jana Thompson in her 10th year at nearby Horn Lake. With the two crossing paths for the first time back in 2007 when they met at a summer camp. But it wasn't until four years later, Jason took off his basketball blinders and decided to ask Jana out on a date. She said yes, and soon after, they found out they had more in common outside the lines. Once we started to communicate and spend time together and kind of uh, get a grasp of one another, then you could kind of tell that it was something special there. He really did uh, give credit to God. And so that really let me know where his spiritual stance was, which was important to me. Um, he already had the, the aspirations and, and the coaching passion, which I found attractive. Um, but kind of whenever he made that reference, I was like, you know, he, we really do have a lot in common and he, he really might be the one. Turned out she was right because after a near two year courtship, the two tied the knot. Joined together in matrimony, and mantles, trophy mantles, with Jason bringing five state titles and Jana won to their unique union of love and basketball. I definitely think that's something that, that makes us stronger and, and makes it easier for us. And since their marriage, Jana has gone on to win two more crowns and Jason won, giving this power couple an amazing nine championships in all. And there it goes. Coach Thompson going to hold it up in the air. Which begs the question, with Jason three titles up on his wife, does he think she's now chasing him? <laughs> she, she won't admit it, but I think so. <laughs> she won't admit it, but I think so. The, the name of the game is definitely to uh, try to keep on winning. But uh, I would definitely be blessed just to see number four, let alone trying to get to six. But I think because of our marriage and because of the way we feel about each other, the fact that when he's successful, I'm successful. So I'm doing everything I can to help him and he's doing everything he can to help me. Um, and that definitely elevates our success. Success though, Jason likes to take full credit for ever since the two became one. I think that before our relationship, I was the better coach. Since our relationship, she's the better coach. So you rubbed off on her? I rubbed off on her. <laughs> cut, the, cut the camera. <laughs> wow. <laughs>